You are now watching BBC News. First off, I just want to say happy birthday to King Menelik and Empress Taitu. And my heartfelt condolences to the Italian community and to all the white supremacists. I'm sorry, getting emotional. <sighs> I can't breathe, oh my God, calm down. Oh, thank God, back to normal. But today, it's not just the birthday of Menelik and Taitu. It's also the birth of black independence. Ethiopia is surely the blackest nation on the planet because nobody kicks colonizers ass with class like the Ethiopian king of kings. Ethiopia kicked Italy's ass as the Americans say, six ways from Sundays, in every way humanly possible. If only Ethiopians knew the amount of tears going down on the Italian cheeks today, what a shame. But on the other hand, King Menelik was a compassionate leader. He treated all the captured soldiers of Italy like family. But it was too late. The captured soldiers of Italy, Great Rome as they call it, were so broken, their skin colour is much powerful than the human mind and spirit mentality was proven wrong. They started trembling with fear. Their, their bodies began to shake like this. And before you know it, they were doing the good job in here, like a professional. And even the people of Godjam, the sons and daughters of the great Belizeliki, were like, we ain't got no shit on Italian Inkitkit. Inkitkit is the dance, of course. I guess it's true what they say. An adult Italian male will never forget three things in his lifetime. Minilik's kick, Taitu Kung Fu, and Alula's Jet Kung Do. You see, messing with the wrong enemy turns brave European soldiers into funny African dancers.